Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this week's live, um, where we'll be covering tips on achieving the maximum rent um, for landlords. Um, and today I'll be joined by Lettings, Lettings consultant uh, Jonathan Powell. Hey, Johnny. Hi there. Um, and he'll also be sharing some um, some tips on how to maximise um, the rental income on your buy to let. Um, and he'll also be sharing uh, this week's sales property of the week because we haven't got Craig in this morning. He's out and about. Um, and also rental property of the week and this week's buy to let deal if you are looking um, at another buy to let investment. And we'll also be reminding you all um, of the uh, the new year offer, which is running and has been running throughout January. Um, we haven't got long left, so if you are thinking of selling or even thinking of buying, um, you'll want to stay tuned and um, we'll give more details toward the end of this live as well. And again, just before we get carried away with, with Johnny's tips, if you if you know anyone who is a landlord at the moment or is thinking of becoming um, a landlord, you can invite them to this live session. Just um, type their names in the comments section below, um, hit return, and they'll get a notification to join us. Um, and they can come forward with their questions as well. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll answer them, myself or Johnny, probably Johnny, um, we'll answer them uh, at the end of the session for, for everyone's benefit. Uh, as well. Yes. So Johnny, thank you for joining us this morning and I pulled you away from the usual hectic Friday mornings or afternoons even. We get as half as 12. Um, so, yeah, so Johnny's going to touch on how we encourage landlords and investors not to get too uh, wrapped up in what we call the dream rent um, where there can be overvaluing of the potential rental income of investment properties. Um, and he's just going to touch on essentially tenants will pay. How do I break this down? Johnny, we'll do it with you. We'll start. Well, before I get carried away, because I'm going to give the tips away, aren't I? I can feel it. Yeah, um, no, Johnny, I'll hand over to you. If you can just briefly share some of the tips um, for landlords on achieving the maximum rent. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, as, as Claudia said, that there is you, you may have a figure in your mind that you, you, you want to achieve. But the most important thing is not to have it sitting empty um because as well as your mortgage you have the council tax the electric gas bills water bills to cover yourself um it's best to get someone in there even if it may be 25 or 50 pound under what you're expecting if if the if the flat or the house sits empty for a month you hmm. you, you you may lose you're losing a lot more a thousand or twelve hundred pound depending on whatever you're, you're trying to get for the sake of six hundred pounds Fifty pound mm. per month, you've lost a month yeah. that year. Um, so you definitely want to minimise your voice and get a good quality tenant in there, paying rent, paying the council tax and the bills, and and just for security, you don't want it sitting empty. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I think the first thing I normally uh, say to anyone, anyone thinking of becoming a landlord is just to do your research. I think is the most important thing as to to the good areas. Um, that are you know good buy to let uh, properties, um, and obviously what you're realistically what you're realistically able to expect from a rental income and what those yields are. I think that's probably the first thing I say to people is get the area right, do your research as to what those properties can earn you. Yeah, exactly. If you've already got the flat um, or, or house, look at other similar ones on the same road or in the same block. If if there's, yeah. if there's a let's let's say it's a flat and there's another very similar flat in the same block that's on with three or four agents and it's been on for a couple yeah. of months and the rent seems quite high and it's still available it's probably because the rent's quite high yeah or, or the condition is not too good so so price yourself competitively but also so you you do get a, a good quality tenant good quality um, tenant yeah and the a, right they'll, people come they'll be a reason to sit in there empty yeah absolutely absolutely um so i guess that leads on to the next thing and that's obviously about um being honest about your property um, after doing your research, be honest and be realistic um, about your property as well. So if you're seeing, like you just said now, comparing it to uh, properties similar to what you have um, and looking at what that's on for, how long it's been on for, is it lit? Was it lit within days? Has it, is it still on the market? Is it empty? Um, and then I think go from there and make sure that you are pricing your rental property um, competitively, yes, but also in such a way that you're going to get the interest and the right tenant, the right type of tenant yeah. in there? Very, very recently we had a, a we've got a two bedroom flat on Gainsborough Court just by the station. Okay. Um, it, it was on for a while. Um, I mean, at, at the time it was on, there were a lot of two bedroom apartments around. 
by the station in the town, wherever there, there was a lot of competition, um, and we weren't getting the interest. We reduced it to eleven hundred, mm-hmm. um, and instantly got loads of interest. We had people bidding for it. We had it, it ended up going over eleven hundred. Wow. Um, we just had to get people through the door, basically. They fell mm. in love with it and then bidded against each other. The landlord then also had a choice of tenants. They could then, yeah. the landlord could pick what what he felt would, taking our advice as well, what what they felt would be a good quality tenant. Mm, definitely. They, they that choice. shows you, if you do price your, your property competitively or maybe just a little bit below what everyone else is asking, everyone's going to look at your property first and, you know, you'll have all the interest, like Johnny just said, and the choice of tenants and you can pick the right tenant from there. Um, and all being well, even go above um, the, the, the marketing price that you've got the property on for. Yeah, um, you just want to get people through the door and get them to fall in love with it. And, yeah. And the price will follow. Exactly, exactly. What that tenant thinks it's worth, they'll pay for it in the end of the day as well. And it's, and often if it's priced competitively, you can go above, which we've had many times before. That's the whole um, open house strategy or guide price strategy, isn't it? Um, so I think the other thing that you mentioned you were going to talk about is obviously choosing a, a trusted or experienced agent as well. Yeah, I mean, we are um, members of the Guild, as <laughs> some of you may or may not know. Um, and as well as um, obviously having to follow the law anyway, we're also, um, we have to, to follow their guidelines as well. Um, and yeah. it, it comes down to being honest and, and trustworthy. Yeah. And possibly even trying to take away the, the stigma that comes with estate agents. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's something I think, yeah, guild members Dod- across the country are working on. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We have to follow very, very strict uh, yeah. codes and legislation, basically. Um, yeah. And with regards and, to and, and we're honest, like, you know, mm-hmm. if, if we think your property uh, is possibly slightly overpriced or, or the, the feedback we will give you based on what people are, are telling us at viewings, we can help guide you with that yeah. feedback. So, oh, um, yeah, for sure. We, 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 we do pride ourselves on rather being honest, don't we? Um, and I think on the other side of that is obviously aside to choosing a, an agent that you trust is on the experience side is choosing an agent that knows that area and that locality who won't, like we said earlier, overvalue and give you this idea of, of a, a, a dream rent. So choosing an agent who knows the market, who knows what your type of property can achieve, the type of tenants it can attract and things like that. That's quite important as well. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we really touched on the whole minimizing your voids and just be about being realistic about your rental price. I think that is really the most important uh, tip that we can give you. And that goes back to everything Johnny's just covered is to do that. You want to make sure that your property is, is tenanted. You don't want to have a property empty because then you're covering, like Johnny said, all the bills that come with it, the utilities. Um, you want to get the right tenant in there. So by, I think just to sort of overview what you've said is doing your research um, about the areas, what type of properties have a, a good income in what area and what type of tenants you can attract. Um, and being honest about the type of property that you have is, although there are other maybe three bedroom uh, family homes on in the market, what, how does yours compare to the others? And what, you know, you need to price it uh, and adjust the pricing in accordance to what your property has to offer a tenant. Um, and obviously choosing the right agent as well, whether you're, you're just lit only or you are looking for fully managed, you want an agent who who will work towards your best interest and bear that in mind that you, this is an investment for you as a landlord. So ultimately, you don't want an empty property. You want the right tenant in there who's going to look after property. Um, and obviously, you want you want to make sure that you're just minimizing voids, have the right tenant and you have an agent that you can trust, I think is the main thing, really. And this is anything I've left out, Johnny. No, no, the word you use there, investment, is very important. Um, Mm -hmm. A a lot of landlords think that automatically the rent goes up every single year. But if you were to use the money you put into that house and invested it in um, a normal, the stock market, for example, in in another company, Mm -hmm. that will go up and down based on, on... on the, on the value at that time yeah exactly. that's a good point um but so understanding think, that rents, rents do come down slightly yeah. is really important 
They do fluctuate. That's a good point, actually, because many times you've had that conversation with a landlord where you're due for the for the rent review, um, and they say, "Oh, has the property gone up in, in in rental value?" And sometimes it's not the easiest conversation to have, but it comes down to having an agent who's honest with you, breaks it down as to why your your rental income will be the same as as what it has been for the last year or for the last two years or why it may have come come down. And that it, it really depends on the, the rental market at that time, right? Um, and what tenants are willing to pay, um, how many other three bedroom houses, how many other two bedroom flats are on the market at the time. Um, and if there's a lot on and there's a lot of choice, then you might see that, you know, landlords to get it rent, uh, to get it let, may come down slightly to price themselves competitively just to get the, 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 the tenants and to get the exactly. option of tenants as well. Um, so it's a fair point. Like you say, st like the stock market does this, every marketplace does that as well. So when it comes to rentals, it depends on what, what the activity is like, and that determines the value of that, that property as well and what tenants are willing to pay. No, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think that covers – before we move on to um, uh, Rental Property of the Week and so on, we do have some comments here, John. I don't know if you can see them. Ah, someone's just dropped you in it. Oh God! It's your birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've taken your Friday and your birthday as well. So, and uh, how old? Are you? How young are you? Uh, twenty-seven today. Happy twenty-seventh birthday! Um, that was Rachel that dropped you in it. Um, Marcel, <laughs> hey guys. Hi, Marcel. Um, and somehow I've accidentally typed hello on the own, on my own live. I don't know how I've done that. But there we go. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll, if you have any questions after the session, if you're watching this um, after we've done the, the session today, please do still drop your, do still drop your questions down below. Um, myself and Johnny will keep an eye out for those and we'll answer them um, within the, uh, the comments section for everyone's benefit as well. Um, so thanks, Johnny. Before we move on, can you just share the rental property of the week for, for this week? Yep, yep. So the rental property of the week we've got is uh, a three-bedroom house in okay. Wainbridge near Brooklands. Um, it's a uh, very, very – I'll see some pictures there. Lovely. So very, very spacious oh, yeah, three-bedroom. That's it, yep, yep. Uh, very close to the Wainbridge trade station as well, probably about a 10-minute walk. Um, oh, good. And also not far from Brooklands Tesco's. Okay. Um, but but free – Decent size, usable bedrooms, um, separate kitchen, dining room, and a separate living room as well. Good size, easy to maintain garden. Um, Bad. Can you put that link down below for everyone? Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, uh, I, I can do that. Yeah. Super. Um, and then obviously, whilst we're on the topic of landlords, um, every week we'll try and share a buy to let deal of the week as well. If anyone is thinking of increasing um, uh, or growing their portfolio. Sorry. So, Johnny, what was this week's buy to let deal of the week? Um, it's, it's a property that we've recently taken on. Um, it's actually being sold by one of our landlords. Um, OK. He, he needs the money for, for another project. Um, mm -hmm. It's in Shepparton. It, it's opposite okay. Shepparton train station on station approach. Um, okay, I used to live there. Really good location. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a really, it's, it's a one bedroom apartment. Really, really good size. Um, okay. It's it's currently on the market at two hundred and thirty thousand. Okay. The the current tenant is paying seven hundred and seventy five pound a month, um, but they've been there a long time, and okay. she's a very very good tenant, and the landlord has respected that. Oh, okay. Um, Right. But looking at very similar one bedroom apartments uh, around that kind of area, you could possibly even look up to about 875, um, wow, okay. which would give you a, a gross yield of, of just over four and a half percent. Wow. OK. So again, above four percent. Really good. But again, to, to try and keep your yield, uh, to try and maintain some of some of your income. The, the ground rent on this property is one hundred pound a year. Um, wow. And the building's insurance is 138 pound 31p a year, okay. and, there, and there's no service charge, so oh, fair. You know, okay. very very minimal outgoings um, costs for that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's and, a really good one. Say... Tenant, it's a really good size, and it's a great location if you need to get to if a tenant needs to get to London. 
Fab. And the, the location is absolutely brilliant. I mean, I don't know this block in particular, but I lived um, in this area as well. Absolutely fantastic. And even though the, the train station is across the road, it's actually nice and quiet um, and very popular because people can still get into the city or um, the surrounding areas via the train line as well. Um, so, John, if you can also put the link for that below. Yeah, yeah, After no, we'll do. Live. Super. Um, and then I know it's not your area, but we haven't got Craig. Can you share the sales property of the week? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, we've we've had the professional photos on it, but we haven't got the brochures drawn up just yet. That okay. literally is it is completely brand new. Um, it's a four bedroom semi detached house. Uh, it's a corner plot on Rydens Avenue. Um, okay. It, it, for, I haven't been there myself to see it, but I've seen the pictures. It looks absolutely mm -hmm. immaculate. Um, that... Really, really good size and mm -hmm. uh, a great location for schools and the train station as well if you need to get to London. Excellent. No, great. Thank you. And what we'll do we is as soon as those details... Soon. Say again? We should have the brochures very, very soon. Super. I think what we'll do in the meantime is if there's any um, anything we can give you um, in terms of any photos. Um, do we have a ballpark as to what's coming on for, Johnny? I know you've had to sort of describe the property, but do we have a ballpark for anyone who's it's looking at a certain... Around 800,000. Okay. Fab. The right area is pretty good as well. It's a corner plot, which is fantastic. It sounds um, sounds quite a good property. Um, so what we'll do is as soon as we have the details on that, um, myself or Craig will, will drop the details in the, the comments section below. Or if you want to uh, book your viewings in now of any of the properties we've discussed, um, the buy to let deal of the week for any landlords looking to grow their portfolio, any tenants who want to view the rental property of the week in Weybridge near the station, um, or to view these, uh, this, is it a four bed detached, sorry, or four bed semi detached? Uh, four bed semi detached, 1930s. Semi -detached. In the right end area. Um, just give us a call and we'll book you in before it even goes out of the portals. Um, so, yeah, we'll drop the details in below. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for joining me, Johnny. I won't keep you too long. And I always try and tell everybody we won't take much of their lunch time either. Um, let's just have a look here. Yeah, okay, so i one this week, but we'll normally get the questions afterwards. Um, any questions you have, you can either direct message either of us um, or we encourage that you comment below so everyone can see the question and see the answer um publicly as well then to remind you all that there isn't much left but if you are thinking in many days left but if you are thinking of selling um or buying we currently have a new year's offer on at the moment um where if you instruct us before the 31st of january so before wednesday um <laughs> you will get 750 pounds cash back on your conveyancing fees um so if you want to find out more please give your just a call. Um, we can obviously have a, we can book a, a no obligation valuation with you on your property um, and take it from there. But it is um, quite a good sum. It doesn't have to go into the property, it could go into the summer holiday by the time you've moved in. Um, but yeah, we're really excited about it. We've had fantastic response to it as well. Um, so definitely comment below or direct message one of us or give the office a call if you are interested in, in getting involved in that as well. Um, and be sure to check out Craig's top 30 um, most saleable uh, roads in Walton on Thames. Um, it's been really interesting getting people's comments on that. So um, I think we're just waiting on uh, number 26 at the moment, which is actually very near to the right end area, which which uh, Johnny just uh, told us about the sales property of the week um, and how well that area does. So definitely good timing to share that one. So yeah, thank you so much to take for questions. No, we're good. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Johnny, I'll leave you to your Friday. And um, I'll speak to you next week Friday between 12 and 12.30. See you guys. Perfect. See you soon. See you, Johnny. Bye-bye.